Oh, look at little Reggie in the window. There's the extension, folks. Up to date. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just firing up the band. So it's been a while, hasn't it? So I thought I'd get some video while I drove into work. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. I imagine the engine noise is somewhat loud. So what I will do instead is, let's see if I can turn this on, if it's got a battery in it. No, it doesn't. Well, forget it. If it's terrible, I'll dub it over. So, we are on, come on, the 18th of April today. Oh dear, somebody's just dropped their phone out of the window. We're on the 18th of April. And, excuse moi, we are um, delayed on the extension build because we've had a change of kitchen staff. Wasn't working out. Um, so we replaced the head chef and I've, believe it or not, been doing it since. And uh, I'm only gonna be there briefly though until I get the team working as and how I want them to. And then we're gonna split that responsibility between three new chefs that we've got on board. Um, we're kind of going back to basics as was when my friend and compadre, uh, Chef Tom, was running the kitchen. Uh, but he managed to get out of the UK before it did a titanic nosedive and uh, it's beginning to sink quite badly, particularly the hospitality sector. And uh, Tom and his family emigrated to Australia. I can't blame them, considering how this country is at the moment. And... Uh, this is always a tricky junction. And, and uh, it's down to me, really, to try and get things back on track. So, in times of uh, dire straits, pressure, you know, concern, there are two options for us uh, in, the, in the hospitality industry, I guess. One of them is to start cutting hours and reducing the uh, amount of staff that we have on and look inwards for cost savings and things like that. I don't think that's gonna work because I was already running a pretty tight ship anyway. You know, it's all right with the government, little tangent, coming out with ideas to save money. Why don't you change all your light bulbs for an LED? Well, we did all that in 2018, mate. You know, there are no cost, cost savings that we can implement um, they're all fixed now and your variable costs like your cost of goods they're going through the roof also so the only way we've got to uh, battle this this tough period is by increasing revenue that's the only way we can do it and uh, that means that it's all hands on deck there's going to be a little bit of a cost saving by me coming in and doing kitchen work but I've, I'm not, I've not taken anybody else's job. We've still got uh, two and a half full-time chefs on, and um, I'm in there to make sure that everything's up to my standard, because I can't have those standards slipping. And my standard's often unachievable even by me, so God help the rest of them. And then I'm also trying to brew beer uh, when I can, when required. And of course build the extension as you know which is why I'm up at five o'clock this morning so I'll be down here until around nine and then at nine I'll go back and pick Gemma up because her car's in the shop at the minute and then she can come down and do a little bit of casking uh, empty some tanks and supervise the brew she is 95% there with brewing beer so I'm not worried at all 
about leaving her in charge of it and uh, all she needs is for me to kind of double check that she's put the pipes in the correct orientation and things like that before she starts a transfer but she's pretty damn good if I'm honest and then um, I'm hopefully tonight meeting, meeting uh, Andy from Four Priests for a casual drink and uh, maybe a bite to eat in our place um, and then back home and we'll do it all again tomorrow so I thought I'd bring you with me today because I miss you and it's been a while and also um, I wanted to show you some things in the kitchen over the next few weeks so we'll see if we can get a little bit more footage than what I've been doing recently and uh, I'm not making any promises though I know what things are like I'll say this and then there won't be a video for four months so my apologation valve is wide open apologitory valve wide open whatever that is so this morning's jobs consist of printing out a brew sheet for the brewery also we have to decide which beers we need to brew first see what we've got in stock see what we've got in tanks and we'll triage that I suppose secondly straight into the kitchen opening checks run through all the fresh stock that we've got at the moment because we are doing a large percent of fresh even though we do get, like, get fresh fish in and we might freeze a little bit down it's still quite tricky so we'll have a large percent of fresh and then also uh, throw away any stock that's past its day dot which might be today from Saturday I would have thought Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday and then we've got to do a veg order for deadline like 11 o'clock today and then we've got to do a um, meat order and a fish order so those two things have got to go in today for delivery tomorrow I'm pretty sure that's the case anyway and uh, then I've got to change the seal on a saladette put some more shelves up relocate some equipment and other boring stuff like that so this camera's going to fall over while I reverse in so I'm going to turn you off and uh, we'll see you in a minute so we're in the kitchen this is some foam tape that I'm going to be using to replace the seal <clears throat> on our polycarbonate saladette lid because it's missing down here it's not ideal but it will do for now uh, menu I'm going to change a couple of these GU pans out uh, I need another knife rack going up here which I haven't bought yet so that's going to be a bit of a bum need to sort that out as you can see they've left the thermometers on so these are the food check thermometers so just close them off they're auto off when you click them closed so we'll do that then I did want to pull all this back section out so we can get up there behind the baffles and give these a clean but they look pretty good today everything looks pretty good and there's evidence that they've done some cleaning which I'm happy about I also have to retile this back section because the tiles fell off due to uh, using a relatively stiff tile adhesive we've now got a hot hold cupboard for Sunday dinners and that kind of thing I've recently had to replace a motor capacitor on the uh, glass wash because it had failed and then I put this little thing up here for knives and forks we're meant to have all the forks all the spoons all the knives but of course our pot wash is a little bit um, shall we say intuitively challenged so um, yeah maybe that you're teaching aren't you they don't know if you don't tell them pot soaking overnight there bins are empty orders on the wall so it's just down to me to um, get my jobs done put this camera down and get to work
Oh, so we've just finished service. It is 9.41 on Wednesday. And uh, we've cleaned down. Um, we need to strip and clean the grill. And it's not so hot, it's a bit hot that. But everything else is done. Richard's mopped the floor, Richard's one of the new chefs. And uh, I cooked an extra fish by mistake today. So it's been sat on the pass um, for a good hour. Now listen to this. Still got its crunch. Had it fill it, absolutely wonderful. So we're gonna leave the parsley out today. It's doing really well. This is what we use for garnishes. This arrived today. And I've just finished washing the pots. So check that lot out. So before I go home, I've got to do that. So this is my life at the minute, folks. No building work because um, I'm working in the kitchen. I'm having tea on my own with a cider after shift at quarter to 10. And I'll be up, and hopefully tomorrow I can do some building. I haven't done any building work for the best part of um, three weeks, maybe four weeks. And of course I haven't done a video for nearly two months. So, uh, this is that. Uh, and along with those other clips that you've seen, which is slightly disjointed, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I promise I'll make a video for you soon. Cheers, see you on the next one.